Hi, I'm Cheryl from Manhattan Wardrobe Supply, and today I'm standing in our dyeing and painting department at our store. I'm standing with Anthony Hoffman. And Anthony's been working as a shoe dyer and painter on Broadway since 1993. He has worked on Hairspray, Wicked, Kinky Boots, and today he's going to show us how to dye satin shoes using international fabric shoe dye. And the very first thing you need to have is the International Professional Shoe Dye book. In this book you'll see the 20 colors that the International Shoe Dye comes in, as well as hundreds of recipes for custom colors that you can blend yourself. I have chosen today to use a new shoe. Now you can also use a used shoe. You do need to clean them first with the fabric shoe cleaner. You just need to make sure that you have a silk satin or a cotton satin shoe. A poly satin shoe will not dye, so check the content of your shoe before you begin your project. Just make sure you clean the entire shoe and allow it to dry thoroughly before you move on to dyeing. To custom mix your color, you will need the mixing cylinder, the universal lightener, and sometimes you need an eyedropper. You also need masking tape to mask off the areas that you don't want to dye, and you need wool daubers to apply the shoe dye, and most importantly, you need rubber gloves to protect your hands because alcohol-based shoe dyes are toxic. Step one is masking your shoe. In your box, when you buy your dyeable shoe, you will find a little swatch. It's a really good idea to test your color on your swatch first, just to make sure it's what you want. And we're going to use the color 2002, straight out of the bottle. When you dye your shoe, you should always start in the back. You should do a heel, side, toe, side, and back. And you do two coats, and then you let it dry two to four hours, and then you're set to go. The one on the left is still wet, and you can see how different the color is. The one on the right has been drying for about an hour. So now I'm custom mixing my aqua color and my recipe book tells me that I need to pour color 2010 up to 12, 2015 up to 28. And then the next step is the universal lightener up to 32. So I'm going to pour my dye from my cylinder into another container. So we're going to do exactly what we did before. Always start in the back. You should do a heel, side, toe side and back and you do two coats and then you let it dry this book has quite a few recipes in it and all it requires is a little mixing so that's how it's done you've learned from the professional so for tips tricks and industry news follow us at manhattan wardrobe supply